Hey, good morning. It's Friday morning. I'm glad that you're with me today as we continue or finish up, rather, our, our study of Luke chapter 4. We've been in this passage all week with our Rooted in Christ video devotional. So thanks for joining us as we spend one last day in this passage. Um, so I, I, I appreciate you being with us today as we dig one more time into Luke chapter 4. We're going to read verses 16 through 21. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went up to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found it in the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives, the recovery of sight to the blind, to, set the oppressed, to let the oppressed go free and proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. They rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. All the eyes of the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Today I want to talk about this um, verse 19, the notion of jubilee, uh, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. This notion of jubilee. Um, in, in the Old Testament, if you, if you go back and look at, um, if you go back and look at um, how when the people uh, came into the promised land, uh, each tribe was given land. I, I've often said that the, the Jewish people were the first Southerners because the things that mattered to the Jewish people were uh, they, uh, uh, who their mom and them, uh, who, who their mom and them was, uh, telling stories, and where your land is. Genealogy mattered to them like it does to us. They love to tell stories like we do as Southerners. And where your land is, the people, uh, the people were from certain tribes were given certain pieces of land. And as would happen in that context, like it does now, land is bought, land is sold. You remember all throughout the Old Testament where people are buying and selling land. And so there was a, a provision in the covenant for a year of Jubilee, I think it was every 50 years, where land was returned back to the ancestral tribes. That land was always returned. Those who were enslaved were freed. And the reason why this was done is that may seem a little unfair because, you know, you bought that land. That was your land. You worked for the, by that land. Why has it got to go back? The reason why it goes back in these times is to understand that every gift, everything that the people had was a gift that was given to them by God. That, yes, they'd worked for it. Yes, they, they'd done their part, but... Even if they had the strength and the good health to work, who was it that gave them strength? Who was it that gave them, that gave them a work ethic? Who was it that gave them the health to work? Well, God. So even the things that we think we have done of our own strength and our own accord and our own power, these are things that were actually done by God. That God is the source of our strength. God is the source of our, source of our health. God is the source of our life. So all the stuff that we think we have done or accomplished on our own was actually stuff that was accomplished through God and by God. And God has given us the strength and the ability to do these things. So even our, the work of our hands is not the work of our hands, but it's the work of God through us. Jubilee is done so the people were reminded where the gift comes from. That it wasn't through their, own, through, through their own strength, their own might, their own power. But it was from God. That was the reminder. And I think that's a good reminder for us as well. We need to be reminded of that. That our strength and our power and our might and all this stuff, it's not by us. But it's by God. It's by God. I think a lot of some word Dr. Bryant, Dr. Bryson rather, used to tell us as preachers when we were coming up. Dr. Bryson used to always say, prepare like it depends upon you, preach knowing it depends upon God. That word's always stuck with me. That, that, that word's always stuck with me to understand that we um, we prepare. Do we do our part? We do our work. We do our stuff. Yeah, we do, we, do, we, we do what we're supposed to do. But we know ultimately that it's not we who do it. We aren't the ones that get it right. We aren't the ones that do it every time. 
But it's God who does it through us. God is the source of our strength. God's the source of our might. God's the source of our power. That's what Jubilee reminds us of. Jubilee reminds us that it's God's effort and ability and might, not ours. Jubilee calls us to be mindful of that. So God's calling us in this passage today to be mindful of where our strength comes from, where our gifts come from, where our life comes from. We're tempted to think it's all because of us and all because of our efforts and all because of everything that we've done. But God is quick to remind us that no, it's actually because of him. I think often of the words in James where it says, every good gift comes from the Father above. What a great reminder that if it's in our life and it's good, it's from God. So today as we enter into this Christmas season, <laughs> but this time next week it will have already been Christmas. What a great reminder for us today to know where our gifts come from. Not from us. Not from our power. Not from our might. But from God. Always be mindful of that. Always be mindful. Live out. Live out. That gift of God in your life. It's a gift God's given you. Use it for his glory. But always know where it comes from. So today, let's always be mindful of God's grace in our lives. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching this week. I pray that you have a great weekend. Uh, and I pray that you, have, uh, you feel the, the blessedness of God in your life today and the days to come. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Love y'all.